First, what you're going to do is you're going to click on Add HTML, and then that's going to bring you to a new page that looks like this. From here, you're actually going to click back over to the index.html page, and then you're going to click and drag to select the um, link to the style sheet that's in between the heading tags. You are then going to copy it. So then from here, you're going to click new.html on the left. You're going to click in between the heading tags on the new page, and then you're going to paste that link to the style sheet. You'll notice now that the background color changes. So then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to um, click on the um, index.html all right, on the left-hand side. And then from here, you're going to click and drag to highlight the H1, the image, and the H6 tags. And again, we're going to copy it. Then from here, we're going to go to the new.html, and we're going to click inside the body, and we're going to paste all that so that basically we have the title, the picture, and the credit on the right-hand side so that the two pages look very similar. So then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to click after the ending H6 tag and hit enter, and you're going to type in a paragraph tag. And then you're going to type in something similar to what we see here. So something like the following websites will give you more information about your topic. And then you're going to end the paragraph tag with less than slash p greater than. And then if you scroll down, you should see it, and it's all styled already. Okay, so then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to find a website that has to do with your topic. So, for example, I'm just going to type in something like Earth's Ice Ages. And then from here, I'm going to find a good website that I can link to. All right, so then from that, basically what I can do here is I can click on a link, and then what I'll do is I will click up at the top and I'm going to copy the URL. Then from here, I'm going to go into my code. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the following. It's going to be less than a space h ref and then an equal sign and then quotation marks. And then from here, I'm going to paste what I just copied, all right? So it pastes that um, website. Then from here, I'm going to do a greater than symbol. And then from here, I'm gonna type in what I want the link to say. So for example, I'm gonna say Britannica.com, and then I'm gonna end the A tag with less than slash A greater than. So now if you scroll down, you'll see that there's a link titled Britannica.com, and if I click it, it does indeed bring me to the Britannica.com page on the Ice Age. So then from here, what you're going to do is you're basically going to do the same thing, um, but just with a second website. So I'm just going to go back to my Google search. Um, I'm going to find another website that has information that I want to use. I'm going to click up at the top and um, Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm actually I'm not going to copy the URL just yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head back over to my code. I'm actually going to copy and paste the first um, link tag that I did. So I'm going to copy, then click after it, hit enter, paste. Now, obviously, I have two links to Britannica.com. However, um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to change it. So I'm going to now I'm going to copy this right here from my Wikipedia page, my second link. I'm then going to erase what's in the quotation marks and then do this and then paste. All right. And then I'm just going to change it to say Wikipedia. So now if I scroll down, you'll see there are links. All right. So then that being said, I would be able to click on the Wikipedia one and lo and behold, it brings me to Wikipedia. Okay, so anyway, now that I've got some links, of course, we don't really have too much style here. We will be adding style as well. Um, but actually, first, what we're going to do is we're going to add links to each of the different pages so that we can go from index.html to new.html. So in order to do that, all right, so I'm still on new.html. I'm going to click um, right here, right after the first body tag. 
and then I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard, and then I'm going to type in the same type of tag again, ahref equals open quotation marks, and then I'm going to click on index.html, and then I'm going to do a greater than symbol, and then I'm going to type home, since that's my home page, and then less than slash a greater than, um, and now you'll notice that there's a link to the home page. And if I were to click on it, it brings me to the home page. Of course, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to have links to both pages. So then what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to, and I'm on new.html, I'm just going to hit enter, and then less than a space href equals sign quotation marks. I'm going to click new.html. Then I'm going to do greater than, and then I'm going to say something like more about the ice page and then less than slash a greater than, okay. So now I've got link to the more about the Ice Age page, which is here, link to the home page, which is here. I'm gonna click back over to new, and I'm gonna copy these links so that they appear on top of both pages. So I'm just going to click and drag to select, copy, click on index.html, I'm gonna click um, after the end of line six, body tag, so that I'm on line seven, and then paste. And then what I'm gonna do from here is I'm going to style those tags so that it doesn't just look like plain old boring text. So then from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on style.css. I'm gonna click before the H1 selector and I'm just going to hit enter and then go back onto line one. I'm gonna type A space curly bracket, hit enter. And then I'm gonna add this text. So I'm gonna give it a font family and I can choose a font family. For example, we'll go maybe fantasy, and then um, you have to do a semicolon after each different style. Um, I might choose to do a different font size. So I'm gonna do font size, and then I'll go with, we'll say 16 PX, and with the quotation, or I'm sorry, the um, semicolon. And then if we want some space between our links, so notice how there's really not a lot of space between our links. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do padding dash right, and then you can type in a number, like for example, 20 PX and then a semicolon, and then we might just need to hit refresh and save. And then you'll notice that there's some space in between the links and the greater the number, let's say I do 40, then we have more space between the links. So then what we're going to do now, if we just kind of check over everything, make sure it looks nice on all of our pages. Um, we're going to then click on the share button. And then from here, you're going to copy the link that appears. So we're going to copy the link. And then from here, what you're going to do is in another tab, you're going to go to tinyurl.com. And then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to, normally it'll be blank here. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to then paste the website link that you just copied. All right, so you would paste it here. You would type in what you want to appear. And actually, let me just reload the page because actually it looks a little bit different than what it should look like. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to paste that long URL. We're then going to type in where it says alias. Type in um, whatever you want your website's tiny URL to be. And you have to make sure that you put um, dashes in between the words. You're going to click make tiny URL. And then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to click copy and then you're gonna turn that link in Google Classroom. So just to give you an idea of what that's gonna look like, if I were to go to this tinyurl.com slash IceAgeAaron, then it brings me to my completed website. And so you'll notice um, that basically the website works as it should.